Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is from Surah 7, Al-Araf, or The Heights, verses 54 through 72. These verses direct the believers to pray to God with fear and with hope. Next is Prophet Noah's address to his people and their disbelief in response and how that was their downfall. Lastly, Prophet Hood's appeal to his people and their reaction and how it led to their fate. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Surely your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six yawms or time periods and is firmly established on the throne of authority. He makes the night cover the day and the day follow the night automatically. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars and made them subservient to his will. Take note, his is the creation, and his is the command. Blessed is Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Call on your Lord with humility and in private, for he does not love the transgressors. Do not create mischief in the land after it has been set in order. Pray to him with fear and hope. Surely the mercy of Allah is always close to those who do good to others. He is the one who sends the winds bearing good news of his blessings. So when they lift up heavy clouds, we drive them along to a dead countryside and make the rain fall upon it and bring forth all kinds of fruits from the same dead land. Likewise, we will raise the dead to life. This example is given so that you may learn a lesson from this observation. The good soil yields rich produce by the permission of Allah and barren soil yields nothing but poor produce. Thus do we explain our revelations over and over again for those who pay thanks. Indeed, we selected Noah for the guidance of his people, and he said, O my people, worship Allah, you have no God but him. If you do not listen to what I say, I fear for you the painful punishment of a mighty day. The chiefs of his nation said, Surely we see that you are in evident error. He replied, O my people, I am not in error. On the contrary, I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I am appointed to deliver the message of my Lord and give you friendly advice, for I know from Allah something that you do not know. Do you wonder that there has come to you a message from your Lord through a man from among yourselves to warn you, so that you may fear Allah in order to receive his mercy? But they denied him. As a result, we saved him and all who were with him in the ark and drowned those who denied our revelations. Surely they were a blind nation. For the people of Ad, we selected their brother Hud, who said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no God but Him. Will you not fear Him? The chiefs of his nation who denied his message said, We can see that you are crazy, and we think that you are lying. Hud replied, O my people, I am not crazy. On the contrary, I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I am conveying the message of my Lord to you, and I am an honest advisor to you. Do you wonder that a reminder from your Lord has come to you through one of your own men to warn you? Remember that he made you successors after the people of Noah and gave you a tall stature as compared to other people. Therefore, remember the favors that you have received from God so that you may prosper. They replied, Have you come to us with the demand that we should worship Allah alone and give up those whom our forefathers used to worship? Well, bring us that which you are threatening, if what you say is true. Prophet Hood said, You have already incurred the blight and wrath of your Lord. Would you dispute with me about mere names which you and your forefathers have invented, and for which Allah has revealed no sanction? If so, then wait for the decision of Allah. I too will wait with you. We saved him and his companions by our mercy, 
and we cut off the roots, or annihilated, of those who denied our revelations, and did not become believers. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including a text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.